Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been working on the vocabulary words that you will find in chapter 3 of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, as I said, we are working on the vocabulary words and right now we are on page number 50. If you also happen to need help in the math portion of the exam, if you are weak in math and if you need help in the math portion, you will find that we have solved every single math problem from this book. They are all in here from day 1 through 50 in the HESI series. Just type in HESI math day 1 all the way through 50. In addition to that, if you need more practice, more help, you will find math videos on T's. And as you know, the math on the T, the difficulty level, the math on the T is very comparable to what you would encounter on HESI. And there are 80 videos in that series, and that should be plenty of material for you to work on. Right now, we are working on, as I said, vocabulary words, and today is our lesson number 14. The very first word we have today, number 64, word number 64, is a very simple, very straightforward word, and the word is... Fatigue. It's a noun. Fatigue. Which simply means extreme tiredness. Extreme tiredness or an exhaustion. An extreme extreme tiredness or an exhaustion. It's a strange word, strange word in a, uh, in a sense because uh, so a lot of the times when the words are borrowed from a different language, they tend to lose their meaning, the original meaning, they acquire new nuances and so forth. And that's exactly as happened with the word fatigue, which is a French word, and the French will spell a little bit differently with an X on the top, and they will, they will, not, uh, they will spell a little bit differently with the X on the top, accent aigu, and they will pronounce it fatigue. And in fatigue, in French, simply means tired. In French, it does not carry nuance of being extremely tired. In French, it does not carry the nuance of being exhausted. It doesn't have a nuance of exhaustion. It just means tired. Just so we fatigue. I'm tired. That's all. Nous sommes fatigués. We are tired. It doesn't mean we are extremely tired. We are just tired. Let's go on to the next word. Number 65. Flaccid, I believe it's, that's how it's pronounced. Flaccid, flaccid is an adjective. It's an adjective. What does it mean? It was a new word for me. I had to learn it myself. It just means lacking. It means it means lacking tone or strength. Lacking, lacking strength, lacking tone, lacking firmness. If it's not firm, if it's if it's gone if it's gone flabby, if it's weak, we say it's flaccid, lacking vitality, lacking vitality, lacking vigor, lacking energy, lacking energy. The synonym would be, if you want, let's put it on the top so that we have some room. The synonym of the word flaccid would be soft. Flabby. Weak. Or infirm. Infirm but don't pronounce it the way I just did it. It's not infirm, it's infirm. Don't hyphenate it. Infirm is the antonym of firm. Infirm simply means it's not firm, it's not, it's not strong, it doesn't have vigor, it doesn't have vitality, it lacks vitality, it lacks strength, it lacks, it lacks, uh, it lacks, uh, 
energy. It's weak, it's not firm, it's infirm. That's what flaccid means. Now in the book, in the book, they also give you limb as a synonym of flaccid. So we're gonna learn that word in the book. They give you limp as a as a synonym, so we're gonna learn the word next limp. It's a simple word again. Number 66. Limp. What does it mean to limp? It's a verb. Well, you know what it means to limp? It means to walk. It means to walk in an uneven, in an uneven or awkward manner. As if, as if supported by only one strong leg. Because the other one is weak, so if I'm if I'm walking, I'm being supported by just one leg. That's because there's something is wrong with the other leg, and I'm limping. It's a very simple word. I know that for a native speaker, it's a very simple word. Limp. It means to walk. It means to walk haltingly. That's how we say it. Haltingly. To walk haltingly. Haltingly. To walk haltingly means to walk to walk with with an awkward how do we spell awkward right here awkward to walk with an awkward gait to walk with an awkward gait Which is the noun? Which which is the word we're going to talk about next? What does gate mean? Gate is that? Does it qualify as a homonym of G A T E? I'm not sure if it's pronounced exactly the same way or not, but it sounds very similar. Gate. Let's let's learn it. Oh, didn't need to erase that part. Today is day number fourteen, as you know. Sixty-seven. Gate simply means a particular way of walking. A particular way of walking. I think I just saw Michael across the street. Wow, can you tell from here it was Michael? Well, oh, because I recognize his gait. I recognize his gait. He has a very particular, very unique, very, very out of the ordinary way of walking. Very recognizable way of walking. I recognize his gait. I recognize his gait. I recognize his way of walking. The way he walks is very striking. Gait. Let's carry on then. The next word that we have in the book is 68. And the word is flush. To walk with an awkward gait means to walk in a very particular, very awkward, very strange, very, very unusual way. Flush. So I don't know why I'm writing the pronunciation. It's very simple. Flush is a noun, which means a blush. Or a glow, or a glow. It means to be red, reddened. It means to have reddened or ruddy appearance. So if you if your cheeks are have the red, uh, a reddish pinkish hue to it, if your cheeks your face have pinkish hue to it. 
and uh, you look healthy and you look fine, well, you're flushing. You have a uh, you have a you have a glow to your face. You have a blush to your face. You have a glow to it. You're reddened, or you have a ready appearance. That's the noun. As an adjective, as an adjective, the flush as an adjective simply means having a healthy, having a healthy. reddish color it means it means it means lively it means to be lively or vigorous vigorous as you know let's put in the capital letter so we can have it vigorous as you simply as you know vigorous as you know simply means to be full of to be full of vigor to be full of energy, to be full of strength, uh, to be 100%. If you're full of vigor, full of vitality, full of strength, you feel vigorous. You're flushing, you're reddened, you have a ready appearance to it, appearance to your face. Your cheeks, your face look, your face looks ready, your cheeks look ready. You have a pinkish hue to them, your cheeks have pinkish hue to them, pinkish hue. You look fine. You look healthy. Bye now.